what is going on everybody welcome back to my channel um, today as you can see I got a package it's a package from China I bought a spinning reel from Aliexpress now I don't think there's a YouTube video yet reviewing this reel uh, so you're gonna watch the first one on my channel here how many of you have heard about this brand called highball it's a Chinese brand if you're into bait finesse system fishing or BFS fishing uh, casting very lightweight lures on bait casters you've probably heard of highball the highball rice bait caster has stormed the internet in on YouTube and the BFS world this past year and uh, this year in 2023 they came out with a spinning reel so I was looking at the pictures online it looks really good it looks like a very high-end reel and uh, it, it looks like they put a lot of uh, original designs into it a lot of effort in marketing and yeah you know what I want to give it a try it looks pretty good so we're gonna do an unboxing video and then I'm gonna give my initial thoughts and impre impression of the Hybo Arise spinning reel. So let's open up the box. So it came bubble wrapped. This is, I believe, the real box. And then, what is this? Yeah. Very nice. They sent me a free spool of braided line. This is rated number one. Okay. Man, the packaging feels nice. <laughs> anyway, that is not the topic of today. Uh, we're going to open up the box here. Oh my goodness. That's a big box. As you can see, where is it? Highball Arise LFC. Very nice. Wow. So you just lift it up. And made in China. Wow. There's even screws on the box. Oh my goodness. For those of you who read Chinese, I do. So basically they're saying seeking perfection beyond perfection. <laughs> let's see, uh, let's see how it is. So you got a very nice bag with a logo patch, very high quality. Wow. I think the reels inside. Obviously paperworks. Just let me quickly take a look. Okay. Quality trust guaranteed. Certification. Ah, there's your there's your spacer or washer to adjust your line lay. Parse diagram. Instructions in Chinese, obviously. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can I can read all of it. But uh, yeah, and there's some stickers. Wow. So I guess here you can see that there's different pound tests, tiny stickers you can put on your reel in case you forget what kind of line, what pound test you have. There's some logo stickers. I'm not sure you can see. Hypercasting spool ring, one piece bail. I guess these are the marketing terms, features, and technologies. Arise. Very cool. Looks like wings <laughs> yeah that's it for the box very high 
quality. They put a lot of thoughts on the box, but today we're here looking at the reel. Let's see if that's also high quality. So here we go. Very nice neoprene bag, soft. And there's a handle. That's a reel. This is the Hybo Arise Air 25 size, which is similar to a Daiwa 2500 size. It is made out of uh, carbon fiber material, the frame and the rotor. Um, there is another model, which is the, the purple and black one. That one has an aluminum body. So it's uh, sturdier and uh, heavier. And uh, yeah, wow! Look at look at the handle, guys. So this is your Shimano style screwing handle. <clears throat> Let me just look at the the cuts and perforation. Very clean cuts. I believe it's aluminum. Handle looks nice. Feels nice. Just put it on there and give it a spin. So you just select like your Shimano, right? You screw it in. You give it a oh nice. There we go. Wow. I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for it, but I'm already impressed by just the look and feel. That, that drag cap is from the Shimano, right? That's like a Shimano CI4 Plus or a sustained drag cap. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same, but it does look pretty similar. Oh my goodness, one piece bail. And it clicks. Wow. This is not something I expect from a CDM Chinese reel. It's absolutely smooth. There's a little bit of resistance. I believe it's probably overpacked with grease. But over time, if you go fishing with it, you know, break it in. No geary feeling. A uniform smoothness. Awesome. Where should I start? <laughs> okay. There you go, made in China. Yeah, so first they advertise this model, the Air model, as a lightweight finesse reel. I can already feel this is pretty light. I am going to weigh it. There we go. 189.8 so 190 grams wow they they did say on the website it is um, 185 um, but yeah it is a 190 gram reel a very lightweight what does it convert to where's my phone there you go that is 6.7 ounces super lightweight this is in that you know Daiwa Tatula level very lightweight for 2500 and I paid $130 Canadian so about a hundred dollar US okay so for, for those of you who fish Daiwa and Shimano do you see any design elements from these two brands when I look at the body here especially this part it looks like a Daiwa LT I do have the Fuego here with me what do you think? I think they're quite similar, hey? Very similar. Now they got away with the anti-reverse switch, which is very nice. Helps the water sealing. And I never use back rail. And apparently Daiwa still has this damn switch that I never use. 
yeah it's pretty good um this handle right here this is like i said a screw in handle and you have just the cap on the other side you can screw it off put the handle on the right side if you want to switch hands and look at this so just from reading their website it is a hook keeper on the base of the handle there you can hook your lure over here in the gap or in these holes however you want to do it yeah I've never seen that in a reel before so I got the 5.2 to 1 gear ratio it's not a high speed reel but uh, yeah it, it will do so basically one turn on the handle you turn the rotor 5.2 times um, I don't see anywhere on their website that says how much line you can retrieve per turn but just by looking at this uh, spool it's not a big spool so probably around 30 inches per turn because I, I have the sustain here this is a six speed and it's a exactly the same size spool and this one retrieves 35 inches per turn and that's on a six speed so this one's probably like around 30. now let's take a look at the spool here like i said the cap looks just like the last generation of the ci4 plus the stratic the sustain um yeah and uh it's very fine-tuned you get quite a few adjustments per turn and uh, yeah let's hear the drag clicker A little bit plasticky. You can hear a little bit of that metallic sound. It's pretty good. Better than a Dial LT. I would say the drag is not as smooth. It's pretty acceptable. You're not going to feel jerky, I, I don't think, but not as smooth as, for example, the, the Fuego. Yep, it's definitely a little bit smoother. And obviously the sustain, absolutely amazing. <laughs> okay, so why did I bring up the sustain? Now let's compare the two spools. This is the Shimano Sustain FJ3000C and a 2500 Highball Arise. Definitely a little bit taller on the sustain but you can see the lip they're almost identical the the angle on the lip and the coloring about the same size spool they have a bunch of holes circular holes i, I believe that is to cut weight and uh yeah you cannot fit a bearing there yeah pretty lightweight overall Okay, next thing we're going to check is the the drag washer. So obviously the knob, you have a pretty standard rubber sealing. And uh, let me grab my tool here. Oh my goodness, it flew on my eyes almost. <laughs> and uh, let's take a look at the drag stack. Oh, there is a bearing. Look, I am wrong. Let's put this bearing back. Okay, you stay down there nice and tight. Nice, I didn't know there's a bearing. Wow, this is wow. Okay, very simple. You just have a metal piece and a carbon drag washer. So this reel is rated for five kilograms of drag, so like about 10 pound. And uh, yeah, they're just one disc. I thought there was gonna be like two or three layers of uh, felt. But yeah, like carbon washer, it's not big at all. It's a small piece of carbon. Kinda worry how it's gonna perform on the water, but we'll see. 
but carbon is supposed to last you longer. Okay, there we go, I put it back. Wow, that was, uh, that was a little bit tedious work, but yeah. Okay, so the drag clicking mechanism is similar to, you know, your Daiwa reels where you have the clip, you have this ring, metal ring in the, on the shaft, and then you have these grooves. Do you see there? And when it rotates, it will click. Um, yeah, pretty standard. And uh, nice thing I see here is they they put a rubber gasket um, around the shaft, very similar to a Shimano design. Obviously, the spool lip. I mean, the rotor lip here. Let me let me see the sustain. Um, yeah, you see what I'm talking about. I mean, they're learning from the best. I can't blame them, right? <laughs> yeah. So the rotor design is nothing too crazy. They do have this piece cut out. Uh, I believe to reduce weight. It's pretty lightweight. Startup inertia is not the fastest, but it's pretty good. Let me see the sustain. Sustain has the MGL rotor, right? Yeah, it's instant pickup. This one has a little bit of delay, but absolutely acceptable. Now the bail, um, it is a one piece bail, very nice, very sturdy. Uh, that is, like I said, is rare to see on a hundred dollar reel. And uh, if you can see over here, I mean, still, it's still a one piece bail, but it looks kind of disconnected here, and you can feel the contouring here. But yeah, <laughs> one piece bail. Let me put the spool back on. Now the spool looks kind of like the Shimano style long stroke spool because it's it's got pretty tall uh, space there. And compared to a 2500 size Daiwa, you can just see it's definitely taller. Okay. And I would say the oscillation is a slower up and down it will wind your line of spool evenly and that helps big time for casting distance and smoothness right and obviously this lip design is almost like a copy version of the Shimano <laughs> spool yeah so as you can see for PE line which is your braided line uh, 1.2 you know in Asia they don't use pound test they use the I don't know how you like 1.2 number <laughs> you can fit a 220 meters right so I have this whatever braid this is I can definitely fit all of it in so uh, we'll see uh, let me take a look at this braid yeah because I know Chinese braids are pretty thin they're trying to copy the Japanese style braid Okay, so what do we got here? This is 20 pound rated. So yeah, that's, that is perfect for this reel. It's 20 pound, but it's thinner than your American 20 pound braid, right? Okay. Yeah, that's super thin. It's almost the same as, let me grab the line here. I wonder if this is the same as the Japanese YGK. Okay, they're pretty darn similar. This one is 2.0, a little bit thicker. Yeah, I think they're exactly the same. Just uh, branded differently with a Chinese brand. So yeah, you know, thanks to Highball for sending me this free line, free braid. Okay. I thought this reel was perfect. <laughs> There is a tiny bit of flaw here. I hope it's a quality control issue. But the anti-reverse is kind of back playing. Hopefully you can hear that. So when you turn this, the spool, sorry, the rotor, there is like one millimeter of back play turning backward, right? Okay, this is this is going to be annoying if I fish with this reel. 
because I do a lot of bottom contact, jerk bait, a lot of lure fishing where I use the anti reverse for certain, you know, action of the lure. And it's going to be very annoying to hear that and feel that knocking every time I stop and go. Okay, I thought it's perfect, but it's, it's not. By the way, guys, if you have this reel, if you already bought it, uh, you gave a spin, try to do the stop and go and then let me know if you also notice this anti-reverse back play issue. There's like a tiny bit. It's definitely noticeable and I'll probably go go talk to Haibo or go on AliExpress and uh, yeah, ask what's going on here. Because for a $100 reel, this shouldn't happen. I hope it's a quality control issue. I hope it's not by design, then then like all of the reels are screwed. <laughs> but you know, overall, it if you're just reeling with it, it's absolutely smooth. Absolutely. I would definitely get this reel for the price if they can fix the anti-reverse issue. So this is just my initial thoughts and unboxing of the Hybo Arise Air model spinning reel. I paid $135 on AliExpress. So you probably asked the question, why would I pay $135 for this reel over, let's say, a Shimano or Daiwa in the same price range like the Daiwa Fuego LT or the Shimano Naski, right? I definitely like the look. It's like a high-end look. I almost think they, they try to copy the, the overall look and feel of a Shimano high-end, let's say, um, this Sustain. So yeah, just side-by-side -side comparison, you know, it's similar size, similar spool, and uh, cap, one-piece bail. Frame size is the same. I don't know where they're going with it because some stores sell it on AliExpress for over $200. I don't think it's worth that much. But for $130, I'm talking Canadian, okay? It's not bad. Oh, by the way, I forgot to check the uh, tolerance. <laughs> Pretty good. There's just a very minute side-to-side -side play on the handle and no play on the on the knob they shimmed it properly yep they did it right so so on this fuego lt this is a 2021 fuego with a zion v body they still haven't fixed the side to side play knob is pretty good and they still haven't gotten away with this switch right same price which one do i go for this one has the uh Daiwa patented te technology, the Max Seal for salt water. Uh, that is a waterproof mechanism. This one, I don't think it has any, but it does have the rubber gasket right below the spool on the shaft and no anti reverse. I will be using this reel for mainly uh, freshwater fishing, so that should be enough. Um, and by the way, this is even lighter than a Daiwa LT in the same size. This is probably 7.2 ounces. This guy is a whopping 6.7 ounces. Under 7 ounces. That's already ultra light. I think if you can get this reel for $130 Canadian or $100 US, it's a good bargain, honestly. Yeah. Okay. That's going to be it for the video. I'll probably take it on the water. Well, actually, we don't have water anymore. We have ice. Open water, I will have to wait for next spring. But yeah, this reel came in just before winter started. So let me know what you think about this reel. Um, you know, buy one for yourself. November 11th on AliExpress, they have a big sales event. So this one will be on sale for even cheaper. And let me know if you have this backplay issue on the rotor, on the anti-reverse. Okay. That's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, see you on the next time on T-Tain Outdoor. Peace.